Today we are going to do some lessons with Jim. Here this is my theme. I have created as eyes. I have drawn these eyes before but with hand and then I made them uh, digital with using GIMP or Photoshop or uh, other graphic uh, softwares. I am not going to teach you how to make eyes, just I'm going to show you how you can use GIMP to make uh, mm, some... Uh, if you want to edit part of this image. The first thing I have to do is to duplicate my layer. Go up to the menu bar with scroll with your mouse button, uh, press the layer button and then duplicate layer. Now I have two layers here. Why I need two layers? I need two layers because uh, if something is going bad and I destroy my original, I will lose it. So it's better to do my um, experiments with uh, the duplicate layer. So it won't cause me any problem if I will uh, do mistakes. Okay, now. Well... What you can do, if you use um, this arrow move tool, you can move layer selections to the other objects. Okay, just move it. Now let's take it back. Okay. You see here many tools. I will try to use many of them. This is a crop tool. Remove edge areas from image or a layer. You can also press Shift plus C. Uh, press it. Now, you can see this um, button, what it can do. With my mouse button, I press my left finger and I choose the area I want to crop. Now, I do not want these two eyes. I want to crop just one. I double click and then you see the other eye disappeared. If I press Ctrl Z from my keyboard, then it comes back. So, you understood the crop tool what it can do. It's just remove edge areas from image or layer. Okay, now, this button over here is a scale tool, scale the layer, selection or path. You can also press from the uh, keyboard your sh this Shift and T button. It is the same. Use scale the image. You see, it appears these all squares here, and you can scale it. Very easy. I do not want to scale it. Just I want to show you the tools what you can do. So, scale the image. You, you want to cancel what? Reset. It comes to the previous. Okay, let's scale it. Here you see a zoom tool. It uh, adjusts the zoom level. You also can press from your keyboard the Z button. Okay, and you see that it can scale the image. Zoom in. Now I want to zoom out. How can it be done? You see here a box, uh, tool options. It has the zoom in marked. So if I mark the other circle, zoom out, you see uh, in my zoom, um, in my mouse button, it has a, another sign. So I press with my left finger and it zoom out. It's very easy nothing difficult so I want to see what this button over here can do it says a share tool share the layer selection or path you may also press the shift plus s from your keyboard share tool what exactly can this can do so as you see it looks like the scale button, but it does not scale the image. It shares the image. What is share? You can move it in other directions. Okay, 
share the image. We do not need it right now, maybe later, so cancel. What is this button over here? It's a, it is a perspective tool. Change perspective of the layer. Selection or path. You may press Shift plus P from your keyboard. What is a perspective tool? Let's come to our image in our eyes and let's see what a perspective tool is. Well, it is like a share or a scale tool, but it does not scale and neither share. So it is a perspective tool. Let's push with the button here to see what a perspective is. As you see, we may change the, our eyes and give them whatever position we want to give it. It is fantastic, just fantastic, okay, like a wall. So, if you press transform, it will transform the eyes in the direction we have give it with the perspective. If you don't transform it and you don't want to transform it, just press reset. I want to transform it, so I press transform. You see now our layer has a different position. Now. Let's see what this bottom over here. It's a flip tool. What is a flip tool? Reverse the layer selection or path horizontally or vertically. So let's press the flip tool and let's see what we can do here in our layer. Flip tool, just you saw. We have just flipped our image in the other side, like a mirror, horizontally or, vert or vertically. Just now we have flipped it horizontally. If we press it once again, it comes in the first position. Press it again, it makes the flip again. Horizontally, okay. It's fantastic tool. Now, here I see a bottom A. It's a letter text tool. We can create or edit text layers with this. Come on, let's press A. Now, I want to write... Um, let's write something. I love growing. Okay, I love growing. You may move uh, the part of the text with your mouse, but the letters are still small, so I have to mark all the text with this um, yellow and change the number over here from 18 to 24. You will see that the letters are going to change. They are bigger now. Okay. So I just, from my drawing, from my text, I want to change the colors. I go here, to change color or select it of the selected text. So press the button, the black button, and change your text to this blue. Okay. You see here now, click with your mouse out from the place you wrote the text. And now you see that the letters are blue. Thanks for joining me. Come again soon, learning more James tutorials, and soon I'm going to teach you the Photoshop Master. Thank you. Bye.